Hi everyone. Are you ready to do a little crafting? My name is Lori and my nickname is Rini and this is Rini Bobini Creations. If it's the first time you've popped by to check out my channel, I'd like to offer you a very warm welcome. If you are one of my subscribers and you're back, thank you so much. I love you guys. I got a pretty cool one for you today, at least I think so. Um, these little cute lanterns. There are so many ways you can change them up, decorate them up, make them your own. And I just love the outcomes of these and they were really fun to make. So I hope you guys like them too. So let me stop yakking and we'll get on with the crafting. So I picked up a bunch of these little lanterns. Um, again, I think they were just at the dollar. Actually, I think I got these one at, ones at Yisk, although I have seen them at the Dollarama. And I got them for like 99 cents on clearance. So I'm gonna do them in a few different ways. So for this one, the first thing I'm gonna do is give it a coat of um, sort of a white ivory paint. So I'm just gonna base coat it with that and then we'll come back and do the techniques. All right, so I've given our little lantern here, a couple of the coats of the cream. Um, and I wanna make it look a bit like old wood sort of. So to do that, I got this brush and the bristles are kind of stiff and uneven, which is what I want. I'm going to do a dry brush technique. So sorry, I've got this uh, espresso and I'm going to dip my brush in and I'm going to wipe most of it off, but not as much as if I was doing an actual dry brush. And then I'm just going to randomly Okay, so now I'm going to give the windows a good cleaning, but then once I've done that, like just, I mean, it comes off quite easily. But once I've done that, let's try that. I've got these little snowflakes that I got from uh, the dollar store, and I'm just going to place them in, and I'm going to like break some in half, if that makes sense, and they're very easy to snap. like that. Oh, I had two there. That's fine. So that I can sort of fill up the area with the snowflakes. And then I can use these little bits as well. So that's sort of what I'm going for here. But as I said, first I'm going to give the windows a clean. And then I'll come back and use this. Now I think I am going to just use um, Gorilla Glue. I think if I use the hot glue and they use a real candle in here, we uh, may melt and I don't want that. So I'll be using the Gorilla Glue to do that. Okay, so I got the window clean, at least some of them. I'm sure I'll have to keep doing it as I go here as I keep touching them and making them worse again. But excuse my reach here. So our Gorilla Glue. And I, you can use just a white wood glue, you can use E6000. I just had this and I'm really happy with the way it works. I got a smoking good deal out of it at Michael's. And I just thought the painting on the glue would probably be the easiest for these little guys. Oh, by the way, nope, doesn't really matter, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna paint the glue on. And you'll probably, unless you do the glue, two glue method, which you certainly can, I'm just afraid that it would melt with the use a real candle. But if you're using a LED candle, that you wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, and I'm just I'm 
I'm gonna place them on, let them dry, and then when they're dry enough to hold, I'll, I'll flip them and do the next side. So this part might be a bit tedious, but I do find it doesn't take too long. I mean, it would take overnight to really, really set up, but to get a decent hold, I find it doesn't really take that long. And you can see I did get a little paint in there, so I'll, or a little glue in there, so I can go back in with a Q-tip here when it's mostly dry and just clean that up a bit. So we've got it all painted. We've got our snowflakes on there. I really like the way this looks. I really love the rustic feel to this. Absolutely am pleased with it. But it does need a little something. So I think I'm gonna add a little twine and maybe just, I don't know, a Christmas flower, something just to give it a bit of a pop of color. Okay, so I stay put, put wiggle in, that's why that's there. So I had these little guys that I got from the, the dollar store. Um, of course, one of our snowflakes, and then I have this twine. So I'm just gonna wrap the twine around it a few times until I'm happy with it, but I am gonna leave a tail. I'm not gonna bother gluing it. I don't think it will be necessary. I'm just going to tie a regular no be, n knot here. I'm not going to do a big bow because I'm going to do a twine bow, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So just knotting it so it stays where it belongs. You can add a little dot of hot glue if you want to. I don't think I'm really going to bother. Okay, and I'll trim my ends after. I'll just find where I would like center to be. I don't suppose it really matters. So then we're gonna just do a twine bow. And to do that, you're just gonna wrap them. I'm just gonna do a smaller one. So I'm just gonna wrap it around my fingers a few times here. And then using another small piece, I'm gonna tie it in the middle. I'm gonna cut off the tails. I just don't like the way they look on these types of bows. I think they just don't look quite the way they should. So just those little ends there. I'm okay with the other one, so we'll leave that. And same with these ones. I'll probably end up trimming them, but we'll keep them on there until I know for sure what size I want them to be. And then I'm just going to glue my bow on. It's much easier if this doesn't keep rolling away on me. So, just a dot of glue. Place her on. Drop you down, not up. trim that a bit. And I almost think we need a little raffia. Something like that on there too. I'll just have some of this brown raffia again simply from the dollar store and I think I'm just going to do a similar thing just to give it a little bit more poof. Maybe not as big though. I 
again just to add that pop of color. I'm going to put the snowflake in the middle and then add one of our poinsettias to it as well here. So pull one out. Now they do have a sticky thing on the back. I never find they stick real well. So I'm probably not going to. I'll just glue it on too. Put our snowflake. I'll still take the paper backing off, otherwise it's just gonna come off. I'll add that dot of glue. Just to give it a little bit of color. And yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So that's our next little lantern done. Our next little lantern this one I want to make like a nighttime sky because we're going to put a scene in it instead of a candle this time so to start that I've got three colors of paint here I've got a black a purple and a blue and the paint technique I'm going to use is quite simple you don't need any special skill for this um, you're going to blend them together so I'm going to start with the darkest color at the bottom so of course the black and I'm just gonna paint the entire base in the black and it's gonna sort of stay black. Now you probably, if you're using acrylic paint, you will probably need two coats. If you are using um, chalk paint, one would probably work for this because I'm getting decent coverage just using the acrylics. So now I'm going to start going up and I'm just going to gently and without cleaning my brush, I'm going to go in and grab some of the purple. Now don't worry that they're not real blended yet because once we're done, they will be. And again, you're going to need a couple of coats, so no, no worries yet. And if it's getting a little too purple, just mix the two up a bit. Add a bit of the black, and just on the side of your palette you can do that. Now it's nice thing with acrylics is if you do get it on the glass, I am too lazy to take them off. And I've been doing it long enough that they don't usually get a whole bunch on there. But acrylics come off the glass really, really easily, just using a Q-tip and a bit of water. So I'm just not even going to tape them off. But you certainly can if you want to, if that, you know, you feel more comfortable. Or if you're using a paint that maybe sticks more to the glass than an acrylic does. I'm going to let it dry so I can get on with my second coat because you want the blending coats. You don't want your paint totally dry to blend them. So I'm going to let the one blend and I haven't gone too light yet because I'm going to work the lighter purple into the blue when we get to that part. But I do want to get enough coverage here at the bottom that the silver is not showing through. So I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes, it won't take too long, and then we'll come back and get a better coverage with doing the same technique. It's all dry, so we're going to go ahead and give it another coat. And then we'll start adding our black to our purple to our black.
Okay, so I've blended the black and the purple on the bottom part, and then I just did straight purple under here. Sorry, I didn't realize I hadn't turned my camera on. So for the next part up here, I'm just mixing some of the blue and the purple. And I'm going to give this a couple of coats as well, just sort of with the mixed. And I don't care if it's a smooth, it can be mottled, I guess is what I'm saying, or a little streaky, it's going to be fine. But I do want the coverage over the silver, so I'll give it a couple of coats with the mixed up purple and blue. And then as we come up, we'll add more of the blue, less of the purple, and get that gradual sort of fading into each other, if that makes sense. That's our lantern all painted. Um, I did go ahead and clean up the windows. I just used a Q-tip for any bits of paint and then I just, of course, used window cleaner to make them all shiny again. So now we're going to make it snow on the outside. And to do that, find yourself an old toothbrush. Um, if you don't have one, if you find something with very, very stiff bristles, it will work too. But I find the tooth, uh, toothbrush is the easiest. So I'm just gonna dip it in the water shake out some of it. I don't want it dry. I still want it wet, but just not drippy drippy. And then I've gone with white, of course, for the snow. And I'm using some silver as well, just to give it a little sparkle. So then you put it on your brush like that. I'm just going to tip a bit off just so we don't end up having globs of it. And then now if you were doing this like on a kitchen table or in your living room, you want to put down some protection. I put a little bit down, but it's my craft room that I expect and it comes clean, so I'm not worrying about it. So anyway, you're just going to take and flick. And as much or as little as you want your snow to be. And that's what you should sort of be left with. I just have a look around and see if there's spots you want a little more. But I am going to add some sort of bigger ones as well. And we'll do that here in a second. So that's the start of our snow. And with that one. Okay, so to add a few, I have these little... They're actually stars and not snowflakes, but I kind of like the way they look. So I thought, ah, oh, it'd be okay. We'll put some at the top. And to do that, I'm just going to, as you can see, put a few out there. This is just clear Elmer School Glue and a skewer. A toothpick would work too, but my glue is kind of getting down. I didn't think I'd be able to reach it. So just wherever I feel like it needs one, I'm just going to put a spot of glue and one of our stars. I was really wishing they did have the snowflakes, but they didn't, so I think these will still be kind of cute, so I'm good with that. And I'm going to put them both on some of the glass and on the painted part. Okay, so I'm going to, of course, do this all over, but I will show you what else we are going to do just to add to the snow. So I've got this little tool. Now, if you don't have this, again, you can use a toothpick, you can use the skinny end of a paintbrush if it's small enough. It doesn't have to be this tool, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to drip it in the paint and just add dots wherever I figure. I'll do it both on the glass and off. 
just like the other. Now you'll notice I haven't done much down here. Um, that's because I've got one other little technique we're going to do and I'll show you that one here as well and then I'll finish it all together here. So once you've done that, now you're going to need a skinny paintbrush. I'm going to take my skinny paintbrush I'm just going to get it a little bit wet, not much, take off the excess, dip it in my glue, and I'm going to do the corners like the windows are frosted. And you don't want to go too heavy with the glue, otherwise it will run a bit. So I'm going to frost my corners. It's a little bit hard to see, I know. And you don't need very much glue for this at all. And then with my fine sparkles, I'm just going to push these off. everything is dry and go in with a dry paintbrush and just brush off the excess. That kind of gives us that illusion of the snowy corners. The other thing I'm going to do just along the bottom is where snow would accumulate. do that all the way around as well. So I've got all that done. I will move on to the next step and we will do our little scene inside. Okay, so it's well it's drying and before, I mean like I said I won't take a dry brush and brush it off after um, it's had a chance to dry a little bit. But while that's drying for us we're gonna do the inside. Oh, I got sparkles and stuff everywhere. Okay, so this is the part that just unscrews from the bottom. So it just, you just twist it and it will come out. So inside of that, now I thought I had cotton balls. I don't, but I think this will work just fine. I've got these just little makeup removers. And I think if I fluff them apart, they'll work. But if you have cotton balls or anything like that, that would work too. And, of course, I've got these little miniatures that I got from the Dollarama for two bucks, as you can see. I'm going to take those out of the package. And you can see they're going to fit in there quite nicely. Um, I don't know if I will do, I think I won't do all three of them because I don't think they'll fit. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. But the first thing I'm going to do is paint that just this part white so nothing fancy with that at all and I'm not that worried about the bottom of course because we are going to cover it with the with the fluff here so I'm just going back into my white paint I'm mostly just going to worry about this part and I'm just sort of going to dab it. Not so much brush as dab here. And I'm not even really worried about 
a super good coat you can go do another coat but the way snow drifts and that kind of thing kind of gives it shadows and stuff so I think just dabbing it on in the one will probably be enough I'll see what it looks like when it's dry but I'm thinking that's what I'll do now technically I should probably let this dry before I go ahead and add it but I'm impatient and I want to get it done so I'm not going to so that should probably do it All right, so now just using some hot glue, I'm gonna fluff this out. I'll just let it dry before I put it back together. I'll see if I want to go ahead with that other coat or whether I'm just going to leave it. And then we are going to tuck that right back into our lantern and we'll have our little miniature scene inside of it. So I'll show you the final results when it's done. Oh, the other thing I will do, probably won't do it on camera, is I am going to seal the, just on the, the metal part i'm not going to do the glass but i do want to let it get good and dry before i go ahead and do that so when it's all put together we'll get it i'll show you the finished product